everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My, my name is Phoenix, and once again, I am joined on, on this reading with my good old friend Jolene. Hello. <laughs> yeah, we totally did not just spend 30 minutes of our time talking about <laughs> one piece of it. No, of course, we would never do that. We yeah, would that was crazy. That. So like, Especially on a Bowiji episode, like, what? Yeah. No. <laughs> I love that we were Hi. supposed to record this yesterday, but we talked so much about like Sanji and Maul and Zoro. We just talk about anything that else. we were just like, <laughs> that we were, like looked at the the clock and we're like, we should probably reschedule for the. <laughs> uh, I, I told, I'm the king of getting sidetracked. Yeah. You know what? It could be. You know what? If we didn't get sidetracked, we wouldn't have found bald Sanji. <laughs> You know what? You're right. Yeah. There's blessings ever. <laughs> we gotta keep our priorities in order. Bald mm. Sanji, everything else. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like, what's your religion? <laughs> and then Bald they show Sanji. a picture. Of, and they're like, I'm interested. <laughs> okay. Uh, Anyways, we are on chapter three. Yeah, so it landed on Jolene's choice, and Jolene was like, hmm, should I read this book by myself at my own pace, or should I make Phoenix suffer with me? I think I'll I, go with I, the I, latter. Is it really suffering? It's not suffering, I'm, I just I'm can't read. Old time. I mean, I do like the book, I don't get me wrong. It's really good and well written, I just can't read big words. <laughs> it's okay, we gotta, it's your journey. It's your journey to literacy. Maybe I won't be illiterate. Look at you. Yeah. Growth. <laughs> Goal for 2024. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what's your good New Year's resolution, Phoenix? And I'm just like, to not be illiterate. <laughs> I need this shit cured. <laughs> also, to not be a massive simp over fictional men, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that for next year. <laughs> I'll enable you, so you yeah. won't be doing that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, chapter three. A breath of a, a breath of flesh at fuck. <laughs> <laughs> We're starting off great. <laughs> a breath of fresh air. Should I start, my friend? Can I flip my little thingy? Wait, I got a little. I have a. I brought a can up here, and it has one of those like the pin things, the ring pull. Mm -hmm. I could flip this. I'll put a little- I'll put a dot on the front of it. Near, near. Oh wait, that doesn't work. Okay, fine. Alright, oh, so do you want to be the, the the top bit that you normally see when you open up a, a can, or do you want to be the bottom bit? The top bit. Okay. You said this in short, did you want to change your answer? <laughs> No, no, it's because my brain is- every time we do a coin flip, depending on, like, what we're reading, I, like, calculate the <laughs> physics of whatever I hear, like, whatever you tell me you're flipping to see if I want to read first or second. And since I want to read first, I'm thinking the top is more dense than the bottom. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> oh, should I fucking drop that show on the floor? Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> I'll, that you'll be the last read, so at least we ended off okay. strong. <laughs> A breath of fresh air. Chapter three. Now with the battle over and the villain caught, Mario and company could return home. Well, their temporary home in the Mushroom Kingdom. It was a possibility they could return to Brooklyn. However, Mario didn't want to bring up the subject. He still needed to bring King Bowser to. Wait to mushroom and face trial. Yeah, just to the mushroom, the, the famous mushroom in, in the kingdom. <laughs> mm -hmm. Truly bringing his mission to a close. Yeah, I forgot about that scene in the Mario movie where they brought <laughs> Blackjack Bowser in front of a court <laughs> and made him like stand trial for his like treason acts. <laughs> Honestly, that would be a funny thing to end, the, to end any movie with, is just the, the villain going to court. Are they gonna be their own lawyer? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's... Some, some poor public defender in the <laughs> Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah. He's still- oh, yeah. Fuck. I forgot my place. Okay. The affected kingdoms wanted justice, and he, and he agreed to deliver. 
Mario pushed the frozen Koopa across the dark halls of the empty fortress, trying to be as quick as possible. It was hot in the throne room, so it was impressive that he was... that they would get him out of there. Peach walked behind them, pushing Toad, who was frozen by accident. Poor Luigi has ap been apologizing profusely, despite the princess saying it's not an issue. I mean, the man's just frozen. <laughs> He's yeah, fine. Maybe a little foggy, but... Yeah. His lungs are collapsing. He's suffering from hypothermia right now. But Toad's okay. He's, he's fine. It happens every day. <laughs> Luigi carried Kamek on his back, ignoring the Koopa's weight. One gets very strong after 20 years of plumbing. Is that is that is that fact? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I guess so. It was strange seeing the fortress so empty. Toad did an amazing job lowering the army to the engine room. Luigi wondered if they were still trapped inside, or if they escaped and retreated, knowing their ruler was defeated. He wondered. No, he hoped Junior was also with them. Luigi sighed, trying not to think about the Koopa Prince. He looked at his brother in an attempt to distract himself. Wow, Luigi. How'd you get so strong? He asked. Mario. Huh? He oh, Mario. fuck! You're okay. I can't read! <laughs> They start with different letters. How do I keep fucking this up? Okay. Well, Mario, how'd you get so strong, he asked. Mario chuckled. When I landed in Mushroom, I bumped into Toad. He took me to Peach, and she offered to train me using this combat simulator. Peach smiled. Yes, my kingdom needed help, and so did Mario. It was a two-for-one deal, really. He would become strong enough to save you and my kingdom. However, Mario did struggle for a little bit. We don't talk about the fight with with DK, said a blushy Mario. Luigi laughed. DK? Who was that? He asked. Peach described Mario's first battle with Donkey Kong, the champion of the Kong country. The ape had mopped the floor with him before Mario managed to turn the tide in the, in, of the battle in his favor. It was rather impressive to hear how Mario succeeded in finding a pow a powerful- wait. Oh yeah, I am reading that right, okay. <laughs> to hear how Mario success succeeded in finding a powerful on his first adventure. I think- I think my brain shut off during <laughs> However, it was also comical when the princess described how DK grabbed him by the face and threw him around like a ragdoll. Luigi was invisibly struggling to keep himself from laughing, covering his mouth with his hand. Mario's face was matching his hat by the time he, he finished her tale. Peach playfully shoved his shoulder. Luigi, you shouldn't be laughing, she said, trying to contain her own laughter. Luigi snorted. I'm sorry, it's just kind of funny to imagine Mario find a giant ape, he said. Imagine getting held hostage by a, a turtle. Could not be me, said Mario. There's actually kind of scary. The brothers narrowed their eyes at each other. Princess Peach turned onto the frozen tyrant. He has been a looming. Wait, yeah. He has been a looming threat for years now. Seeing him trapped in the ice and ready to be put to trial caused a wave of emotions to wash over her. He felt happy and relieved because the power stars were going to be returned. But was it so sur what was also so surreal? The kingdom's principles were peace and unity, yet there stood the polar opposite. While Peach was a kind and uh benevolent benevolent ruler, Bowser was a cruel and greedy king. However he had planned whatever he planned to do with the power stars, it was it was good that he was stopped. Princess, how exactly are we getting back to your kingdom? Peach turned to the brothers. Mario stopped to wipe his brow for a second while Luigi tapped on the the toad's icy prison. The mushroom princess took off her crown. Don't worry, guys. We don't have to carry them all the way back, she replied. For a small compartment on her crown band, Peach pulled out a tiny green pipe. Luigi narrowed his eyes at it, trying to get a better look. And once he realized what it was, he backed away. No, nope, no. Nuh-uh, he said. Meyer raised an eyebrow at his reaction. He put a hand on his shoulder. What's wrong, Ouija? He asked. Ouija shook, shakenly pointed at the item in Peach's hand. We're not actually using one of those, right? 
Because that's how we got in this mess, he explained. Peach patted his other shoulder. I assure you that this warp pipe is safe. It's been entrusted to specifically take us back to the Mushroom Kingdom. Luigi whimpered slightly. He looked at Mario fearfully, not looking and not looking an ounce convinced. But who can you but who can blame him? Stepping through a warp pipe is what led him to his captivity in Bowser's claws. Peach tapped her chin and then perked up. I have an idea. I will take Bowser and go through first, she said. Mario nodded. <laughs> Whatever you say, princess. Okay. Peach walked over. Oh, wait. Yeah, the princess walked over to the base of the tower, just outside the fortress's gates. She turned the warp pipe on its side and pressed it into the wall. The green pipe grew in size, cracking the structure. Peach adjusted her gloves, then dragged the massive ice block towards the entrance. Luigi tilted his head. How the heck are they going to fit? However, the princess was quick to answer. Peach stood up straight and crossed her arms, a slight proud smile on her face. Then she bumped her hips against the ice, pushing the petrified Bowser through. She swiftly followed behind. Luigi's jaw dropped. Mario's... Uh... What? <laughs> guffawed. Guffawed? What? Really? Yeah, I think that's guffawed. Oh. What does guffawed mean? I'm... It's like... How do I describe this? I... <laughs> It's, it's almost like a... I have no idea how to put that into words. <laughs> Can you describe it in an emotion that I know? <laughs> it's like almost jaw drop and you're like essentially just... <laughs> I, that's what I assume. Okay. <laughs> Not like barking, but like... <laughs> Alright, Mario was guffawed, which I guess means jaw dropped. <laughs> oh wait, no, maybe not. Hold up. Let I don't know. Read. I'm probably wrong, not gonna lie, but... I can't believe- I specifically hired you for this, to know English- I'm sorry, English I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I, I, I wanted to study science, not English. <laughs> I, I recommend. I recommend you ignore the physics from home for a little bit. You're gonna hurt yourself trying to understand this place, he said, closing Luigi's mouth. His brother adjusted his cap before walking behind Toad. I'm right behind you, bro. It's totally safe, he said. Luigi fumbled with his gloves before taking a deep breath and stepping through the ominous teleporting device. XXX. The second Luigi stepped into the warp pipe, he was sucked into it, going through a net-breaking speed. He crashed into the side, screaming louder than ever. He could- it was hard to breathe. Luigi felt like he was on a roller coaster, and he hates roller coasters! He gathered the courage to open his eyes and saw a fast traveling light. Luigi crawled as the sides, but it was the but could not have a hold on anything. And after he what felt like an eternity, the man in green was re, was ejected from the warp pipe. The poor guy skidded across what felt like tiled floor and crashed into a wall, knocking the wind out of his lungs. The room was spinning. The voices chattered nervously and gasped. Even some screamed. Luigi could feel people gather around him. They looked like tiny colorful blobs. He groaned, trying not to throw up. Something poked his nose. Is... is that Mark? Why is he green? Is it me, or did Mark lose weight? <laughs> <laughs> Can't be him, this guy's tall! <laughs> wow, they really fat shaming this dude, like, Oh, is it me, or did Mark just, like, lose a shit ton of weight? <laughs> Oh, terrible. Luigi propped on his elbows, coughing and trying to catch his breath. He... he... He what? <laughs> that does say groped, right? Yeah. Okay. He, he groped around for his cap, ignoring the pounding headache. He hoped to stars he never had to use a warp pipe again. Luigi looked up and squinted at the bright light, then he gasped. He found himself in the most beautiful room he's ever seen. The chamber was made out of pol polished marble and decorated with light pink and golden banners. Crystalline... Yeah, crystalline windows al allowed the warm glow of the sum- of the- Where the fuck did I get summer from? Jesus <laughs> The warm glow of the morning sun to flood in the room. The gorgeous glass window reflected the sunlight, bathing the room in a spectacle of color. 
It depicted Princess Peach looking upwards, her hands risen. Luigi sh shakingly stood up. Whoa, he gasped. The toads gathered around him, muttering amongst themselves. Luigi stopped inspecting the throne room and focused on the, the crowd around him. He nervously chuckled. Uh, hello? The toads surrounding him smiled and uttered welcomes. A line of pink... A, yeah, a line of pink bloomed across his face, warm spurning to his chest. Such a warm welcome. That's all he needed. Yeah! <laughs> he looked up and saw his brother slide out of the warp pipe, landing on his feet. Mario chuckled and walked up to him. The younger twin frowned slightly, wishing he had more of an elegant entrance like than like his. Mario smiled. Everyone, this is my brother Luigi, he announced. There was a collective gasp, and suddenly everyone cheered and started asking Luigi questions. He slightly stepped back, frightened by the sun of tension. Some even shook his hand and looked at him with glimmering eyes. Luigi laughed shyly at his, at his reaction, rubbing his neck. This must be how celebrities felt. However, Luigi was a bit confused since no one knew yet he aided to defeat Bowser. A woman's laughter silenced the excitement. Princess Peach walked among the crowd, dressed in a full royal, uh... Regalia. Regal- what the fuck's- dude, just say dress, man. <laughs> Reg I'm guessing it's like, like, proper, like, cause she's yes, like a proper- like her, her yeah. outfit. She's in her drip. She's- she's serving right now. <laughs> in her, uh, regalia, or however you pronounce it. <laughs> her voluptuous pink gown billowed around her, gold crown dazzling. Peach softly patted heads and spoke assuringly, assuring words as Toads approached her with concern. Luigi and Mario exchanged a look, moving by, moved by her motherly display. Peach folded her arms. Did everything go well, Luigi? She asked. Green Mario shot out of the warp pipe like a bullet bill. Oh, come on. That's not the worst thing. Ooh, Bowser came through. The mushroom folk gathered together, frightened at the mere mention of the Koopa's name. Peach looked around and raised her hands. All right, settle down, everyone. Let's not give Luigi a hard time. It takes some time to get used to the pipe travel, she said. The toes quickly calmed down and returned to their bubbly selves. Luigi couldn't help but comparing Peach's manner of calling her kingdom to Bowser. She was so warm and kind, connecting physically with them. But the Koopa King was cold and assertive. Authoritative. And authoritative. I didn't say the right word. <laughs> it was either obey or face his wrath. Luigi shook his head, not wanting to think about him anymore. Peach, Princess Peach walked up the carpeted steps of her throne and faced the crowd with a bright smile. She extended her arms. Everyone, rejoice! The Dark King has been defeated, and the Power Stars are being retrieved as we speak. We have won! She announced. The throne room exploded with... Uh, jubilation. The citizens clapped and cheered. Some hugged each other and cried. We did! We defeated the Koopa King! Our stars are safe! Hooray! Luigi's not going to die! <laughs> the brothers walked up to the princess and at her, at her beckoning. They respectfully took off their caps, placing them amongst their chests. Peach placed her hands in front of her. As ruler of the Mushroom Kingdom and representative of the Allied Kingdoms, I thank you for your help, she said. I thank Mario for his heroic act. He landed our, at our kingdom's borders by accident and had no obligation to help us. And yet you did so, putting your life at risk. We owe you a great debt. It was a myriad of cheers and agreements. Luigi looked at his brother, eyes glowing brightly. His brother glanced at him, pride in his eyes. Peach turned her attention to Luigi. And we must thank his brother as well. He endured being held captive by Bowser and broke free to fight alongside us at our time of need, she said. Toads clapped and rejoiced at her words. Luigi blushed deeply, trying to hide it in his hat. M Mario chuckled at his reaction and clapped along with them. Princess Peach raised her hands once again. This calls for a celebration! 
If the citizens could yell any louder, they most certainly do. They all stampede out of the large wooden doors, excitedly talking. The princess teetered. Mario put his hands on his hips. Thank you, Peach. Wait. She said, okay, I think, okay. <laughs> thank you. Well, it said, thank you, Peach, she said. I don't- <laughs> Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah. Thank you, Peach, he said. Luigi nervously put his cap on. You didn't have to do that, princess. We're just happy to help, he stammered. Peach bumped his shoulder. Nonsense. You two will go down in history. You saved all of all, all the mushroom and the allied kingdoms on your first week here, she said. That's no small feat, she added with a wink. The, the princess walked down the stairs. The heroes followed behind her. She sighed quietly. Besides, consider it as a token of our gratitude and a farewell party, she said with an undertone of sadness. Mario and Luigi exchanged a crestfallen look. At all, in all honesty, they truly wanted to go back to Brooklyn. However, they were somehow saddened by it. They had made great friends in their brief time here, and they didn't belong. But they didn't belong here. Besides, everyone at home must be worried sick about them. The little community they lived in would have certainly noticed their favorite and reliable plumbers being missing. Mario looked at Luigi, who swiftly nodded his head. The rub plumber smiled. We'll be honored. Peach clapped her hands together. Oh, wonderful! Look how excited the toads are. This party will be ready by tonight. In the meantime, you boys can can rest. I'm sure you will enjoy some downtime, she said. Absolutely. I don't want to get the smell of brimstone off me, said Luigi. Mario yawned. And I can use a nap. Peacefully clapped her hands. A pink toe with pink toe. Oh, <gasps> yo, it's soda! I love this already. This is This is the best book ever. That's my girl. <laughs> a pink toe with pigtails swiftly walked to her aid and bowed. The princess kneeled down and whispered instructions to her. The maid nodded her head. Peach stood up. Toad out here will take care, take you to your rooms. I'll get someone to bring up some fresh clothes and tea as well, she said. The brothers honed in, in a f affirmation. Peach turned around to, the ex to exit the room, but Luigi stopped her. Ah, how the fuck do you say that? <laughs> I don't know how to read it. Excuse, Excuse me, Prince. Prince Pesa. <laughs> I, had, I had to look at that one twice. Speaks Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Casually. <laughs> I promise. I promise I don't know Italian. Excuse me, Prince de Messia. <laughs> What happened to your to your little friend? He asked. Peach waved her hand. Oh, Ted's being thawed out as we speak. He'll be free. From, he'll be free, but in time for the party. She responded. Mario crossed his arms. And Bowser, the securely placed in this cold storage. Satisfied by her response, the brothers followed the pink toad down the glowing halls of the castle. After a hot shower and changing into fresh clothes, the brothers felt rejuvenated. They both sat on the balcony, warm cups of tea in their hands. A warm breeze blew by. Luigi sighed, glad that the whole ordeal was over. His brother got up and leaned on the railing. It's beautiful, isn't it? He said. Luigi smiled. It is. Although, the name's a little too on the nose, he joked. Yeah, the naming system here is pretty straightforward. They stopped for a moment to bathe in the land's beauty. Mario gazed at the smiling hills. I think the hills actually do have smiles. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mesmerized by the mushrooms that dance in the breeze. The tiny citizens bustling in with energy below them. Meanwhile, Luigi basked in the warmth, eyes closed. I mean, Luigi has not seen the sun in a hot minute. Yeah, poor, poor Luigi. <laughs> poor Luigi. <laughs> he, he needs this. He, he's like vitamin D deficient right now. <laughs> <laughs> Re relief washed, yeah, soaked in his bones. His entire imprisonment was filled like with dreams like this. Dreams of feeling a familiar warmth of the sun as opposed to the blazing heat of the lava, of being in the company of his brother once again, rather than the, the cold loneliness of his cell. The a fresh breath of- fuck. 
did I do that? How did I flip the <laughs> A breath of fresh air. I was gonna make a joke, but now I can't because I just fumbled it. <laughs> I was even like, oh my god, that's the name of the chapter, but I, I flipped the word, so... <laughs> it's okay, you'll make it. <laughs> Tink! <laughs> Mario placed his cup back on the saucer and sat back down as he sighed. He ran a hand through his hair. It's hard to believe all this really happened. Luigi opened an eye. Yep. Mario crossed his arms. So, are you gonna tell me how you escaped? He asked. Um. Luigi put his cup down, lest he drop it due to his trembling hands. He would hate to break something of the princess's. Plus, the small teacup probably cost more than his kidneys worth. The man nervously placed, played with his mustache. It was strange, really. This Koopaling came to the dungeon to see what the fuss was all about, he said. Like a juvenile Koopa? Someone actually brought their child onto Bowser's fortress? The younger Trink shrugged, feeling guilty about downplaying Junior's role in his escape. It was probably for the best. The prince did not deserve to be dragged further into this. It was punishment enough that his father was imprisoned. Luigi returned to the attention of Mario. We talked for a little bit. Then, you and Peach stormed the castle. I managed to convince him to let me out. Mario quirked an eyebrow. Just like that? He asked. It didn't take much to convince him. I meant no harm. His brother gave a slight look of disbelief. Luigi leaned on his hand. The only reason I brought Bowser down was because you weakened him. If Peach gave me that flower, ice flower thingy, he said. Fair enough. Luigi sighed. So yeah, a kid bait essentially let me out, he added. Why did Bowser imprison you, though? Did he mistake you for me? Uh... Yeah. Okay. Luigi's mustache twitched. Well, he wanted to use me as bait, and also get info on you. Mario went silent for a second. He had a steadily look in his eyes. Luigi tapped his foot, hiding his hands and in his underarms. After a tense minute, Mario scoffed. What a monster. How evil do you have to be to do that? Do such a thing. Luigi looked at the floor. He seemed desperate, almost like he really never expected the kingdom to fight back. Mario inhaled sharply through his teeth. Welp! It's common knowledge that toads don't look or act like fightable fighters, or capable fighters. Finally, change the conversation. Luigi, uh, what, how did you pronounce it again? Gaffod. Gaffod? Can you imagine those little guys as soldiers? Mario was, was, went still for a second, thinking. Then he wheezed, like, sounding like a tea kettle. The brothers burst into laughter, the previous tension melting away. Luigi wiped a tear from his face. Grateful for the shift in the atmosphere, the two spent the next few minutes laughing and poorly imitating the toad shrieking voice. <laughs> oh, I mean, toads do have like a sh squeaky voice. Imagining the adorable mushroom folk with serious expressions and dressed in battle, ready, dress for battle, ready, readily wait, really sent them into his hysterics. After a few minutes, the brothers collected themselves. Luigi poured himself another cup of tea. Mario sighed. I'm gonna go take a nap, he said. Okie dokie, bro. I'm gonna stay out here for a little bit. The breeze is nice. Mario stepped back into the room. Get some rest, too, okay? I love Mario. His brother gave him one last look before fully entering the room. Luigi turned his attention back to the sunny hills. A sigh of contentment escaped his lips. Now, I know this is a slow burner, but how is- I'm still wondering how this is going to turn into... a ship. <laughs> Look, my thing... I feel like it'll involve Bowser Jr., you know? Yeah. Like, you know, it's that whole single father sees other person take such good care of them, like, of their son, of, like, of their child, where it's like, wow. Yeah, he, he's just a single dad that works two jobs. Loves his kids, never stops. And he has gentle hands and a heart of a fighter. He, he's just... <laughs> no, but like... 
I, I'm concerned for Bowser Jr. Because mm-hmm. it's like, he... I don't know if you remember, but he did technically betray Bowser Jr. <laughs> yeah. Because he said he wouldn't, like, hurt his dad. Because Bowser Jr. was so scared. Oh, that poor baby. I want to hold him in my arms. Watch. He, like, they're, he's going to, like, his his father's going to be on trial. And he's going to burst in there. And he's like, hey, daddy, you did this to my daddy. <laughs> and he's like, going to see Luigi back. We have a bet, mister. And they're like, Luigi, you did what? I kind of want Luigi to break Bowser out for the sake of Bowser Jr. Like, has to betray. <laughs> yeah. Has to betray <laughs> an entire run. kingdom. <laughs> his, his own flesh and blood. Yeah. Alright, chapter four. Pass adrift. Okay. The metal chains hung tightly to his skin. The muzzle over his face was heavy. Bowser slowly opened his eyes and shook his head. His fiery hair curtained his face. The cell around him was made of cement with a small window. He was cold. Bowser huffed, expelling flickering embers from his nostrils. The Koopa King shuddered slightly and stood up, but fumbled and fell. Groaning and cursing under his breath, Bowser struggled to his feet. It was difficult, considering he could not move his hands easily. Balance was also arduous, since his tail was frozen in ice. It was still frozen in ice. He pulled at the chains with all his might, but to no avail. Chain chop metal. Damn bastards thought of everything. Damn, they murder a chain chop? <laughs> Oh shoot! Just to use its like, like they murdered it and melted its body into like a metal. <laughs> That's fucked Dang. up. Now that I say that, I'm. So- <laughs> oh my gosh! I was like, okay, this is just the metal they use for chain jumps. I wasn't thinking about murder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they just like murder a chain chomp and then they take its body. Since it's entirely metal, they just melt it into like a, a matter. Anyway, continue. <laughs> Muzzle to limit his speech and fire breathing. Chain chomp, chomp chains to withstand his strength. Bowser pulled at them again. Nothing. Switching tactics. He staggered. He staggered to his cell door. He tried to lean on the bars, but something yanked him back. Bowser felt behind him and pulled a chain. Anger and humiliation seed, seeds within him. The mushroom mirrors had removed his wrist and armbands and left his collar to act as a leash. His chest rose and fell erratically. Sire, the, 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 I can't, I forgot what voice I used for Kamek. It's probably like, Sire. <laughs> use the old man voice and you're like, ah. <laughs> sire. The furious Koopa looked up. Kamek stood at his cell before him and nod on his head. His robes were tattered. His glasses were cracked. The magic Koopa raised his own chained hands and grabbed the bars. We are in the Mushroom Kingdom. You have been unconscious for a day, he said. Bowser replied with a growl. No wonder his wounds were healed. His muscles were sore due to the lack of activity. He raised his hand and twirled it around. Kamek touched his head. The green Mario brother knocked me out and took my wand. Bowser yanked on the chains. The sound echoed through the sterile dungeon halls. Years of planning down the drain because of that damn hero. If he weren't, if it weren't for his meddling brother breaking free, Bowser would have defeated Mario and completed his conquest. And I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids. He <laughs> <laughs> should not have kept the green man. It was stupid. He, under- he underestimated how gutsy the tiny man is. Simply thought of him as a doormat. Such a thought came to bite him in the ass. Bowser sniffed the air. He detected two unknown scents. He gagged slightly, recognizing the earthy smell of the toads. But that was it. Just him, Kamek, and two guards somewhere in the distance. And that terrified him. Kamek raised an eyebrow, sensing his king's distress. Bowser yanked on the restraints, thrashing and releasing muffled roars. He slammed into the walls and stomped. His eyes wide open with fear. His heart was pounding. He seemed to be searching for something. Kamek opened his beak to ask something, but the realization hit him. Only one thing on the planet could make King Bowser Koop panic. Son, where? Where's the prince? Yeah, where did he go? Yeah, that's sort of like, I've been worried about him. My yeah, he's boy. like going door to door. He's like, have you seen my daddy? <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. Hammering on the door interrupted the brother's slumber, causing their snoring to cease for a moment. Luigi groaned and burrowed deeper into the covers. However, the person knocking persisted. The little man slowly got up. The blankets covered his lopsided hair. With a yawn, he sluggishly got up and opened the door a bit. 
Toadette smiled up at him. Good evening, Master Luigi. Sorry to interrupt your sleep, but the princess wanted me to wake you. Luigi rubbed his eyes. Oh? Is, is it time for the party? Indeed it is. I've, I've also brought you your festivity gardens. Consider them tokens of appreciation. The human managed a sleepy smile. Thank you so much. We'll be down there, be down there in a minute. The female toad handed him a bundle of clothing with a curtsy. Luigi quickly took the clothing, uttering a thank you before slipping back into his room. He yawned and stretched, hearing a satisfying crack in his back. Luigi walked over to his brother and shook his shoulder. Oi, fratello, it's, it's party time, he said. Luigi groaned and turned over. His younger brother was not having it. He yanked the covers off. I thought Mario was older. No, Luigi's older. Oh. Yeah, he technically was the older brother. For the longest time, I thought Luigi was the younger one. Literally for my entire life up until this. Really? Oh no! Now I'm gonna fact check this. Give me a second. Hold on. Is Should Luigi older than Mario? Give me a result. Oh wait, Mario is Luigi's older twin brother. That's what I thought. What? I thought the Luigi was the oldest. Was it because he's tall? I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you were right. I'll, I'll give you that. Look at me. I'm also, I'm... I was I, I was obsessed. What can I say? Yeah, I also <laughs> love that. Like, I'm getting. I had like two thoughts run to my mind. Like uh, one, she hands him like the clothes. I'm like, oh hell yeah, they're about to get fucking dripped out for this party. And then two, I got real distracted by Wattpad recommending me an air fryer. <laughs> an air fryer? Air fryer X reader? <laughs> no, 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 it was like an ad that popped up, and it was like prison art, the air fryer that makes entertaining a breeze. Order now. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm like, why the fuck would anyone reading fan because she want an air fryer? <laughs> they're too busy reading to cook the meal. Yeah. They're reading they're reading fan fiction that's cooking. <laughs> oh gosh. That, that's it. <laughs> Sorry, I heard a crime. Heard a, did you did you did you say you heard a crime? I heard a crying. <laughs> No. I heard a cry. My phone vibrated. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's my cat is screaming. At oh, me. I thought he wants to come in. <laughs> I'm sorry, little friend. You he's just a baby. Yes, he's a very loud baby. He's just a baby. Luigi dumped his set of clothes on the bathroom. Uh, uh wait, hold up, my bad. Luigi <laughs> jumped his head of clothes on his face, then and then headed to the bathroom. Now I'm fucked up! <laughs> As he slowly woke up, the excitement for tonight's festivity started to sink in. It was hard to believe, really. One day he's in jail, and the next he's being treated like royalty. Nonetheless, a party is a party. <laughs> Luigi welcomes anything that could shake off the frightening experience. The human paused for a second and looked himself in the mirror. A bit of color was returning to his skin, and the bags under his eyes were slowly, slowly fading away. He almost looked like his bright, cheerful, yet shy self again. And he felt like it too. The festivity garments considered, consisted of a white shirt beneath a forest green vest and blue jeans. Luigi stepped back, taking in the sight. His heart melted at the resident's kindness. Luigi would like to stay, but he truly misses home. The friends must be worried beyond imaginable doubt. And surely, Miss Pauline was wondering what happened was wonder what happened to them after they disappeared. After all, they were helping her rebuild that energy and the man in green poofed, making a mental note to warn her about the warp pipe hidden in plain sight. Then he realized how insane he would sound, imagining recounting his undesired trip to this world. Luigi could imagine the headlines. Local plumber gone bonkers claimed to have fought turtles and befriended mushroom people. Who was to say he was smoking crack down there? <laughs> Doing shrooms. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect with the mushroom people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Luigi rubbed his face, then addressed the bathroom. Mario stood in front of the van vanity mirror, putting on his iconic cap. The younger twin sputtered his gloves on the table. Hey, they even gave us new gloves, he exclaimed. Mario chuckled and put on his own pair. Yeah, I don't know what... 
I don't know what these things are made of, but they're comfy. Plus, they make hold and power up safe. So that explains how you didn't burn your hands when using that fire power up. His brother nodded. The two quickly finished getting ready and left their bedroom. Mario guided them through the castle wall, whistling a cheerful tune. Meanwhile, Luigi gawked at the architecture. The castle, the castle was decorated with massive portraits of exquisite detail. Honestly, Luigi felt like he would be transported into new worlds if he stepped through them. We're, we're not gonna we're not gonna comment on that. What? What? Um, they'd be transported to a new world? Like yeah, it's... like going through the portrait, like you know, Mario. What? <laughs> No. Oh! Mario C- I'm so sorry! <laughs> no, I, I thought you were gonna make commentary on it. I was like, what, what do you want me to say about it? <laughs> I'd like to apologize for not acting quickly. It was very wrong <laughs> and I am very sorry. I, I want to, to move on and get a better life. You know, have a kid and a wife. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, in my defense, I've never played Super Mario 64. I never had it in N64 growing up. I barely had a GameCube. I started off on the Wii, dog. I don't know I, shit. <laughs> I did not play Mario 64, but I did watch playthroughs. I don't think I've ever watched a playthrough of Mario Super Mario 64 before. Anyway, add that to the bucket <laughs> list of things to watch. <laughs> If I could find my place. Uh, hills upon hills of vibrant green, all glowing with bright lights. Fireworks went off in the distance. A chuckle inter interrupted his daydreaming. Come on, Weege, said Mario. Luigi yelped and ran out after him. Once outside the castle, the brother walked straight into Toad Town. Toad Town. They gasped at the adorned village, their eyes wide open. Decorations of green and red hung from their huts. The air fizzled with energy, accompanied by the mouth-watering scent of food. Mario and Luigi spotted a group of children playing around a fountain, goofy mustaches painted on their faces. The two chuckled at the sight. For Mario, it was rather normal. In Brooklyn, some of the kids did that too. Quite a few of them even dressed as him for Halloween. But Luigi, it, but for Luigi, it took time to get used to. Being idolized was foreign to him as this as, was as foreign to him as this world. Not that he was complaining. Luigi was glad he. He may have aspired in few little, uh, a few young ones. The heroes continued entering the plaza, greeting any friendly citizens that approached them. Suddenly, a flash of pink caught their attention. Princess Peach was helping a group of people set up a table. She looked dazzling in, the, in a light pink dress, a garment much more casual for a party than her iconic gown. Mario waved his hand. Princess, over here! Peach turned around with a smile on her face. The plumber twins walked towards her, the, elder, the eldest more confident than the youngest. Luigi was still getting used to being so casual in the presence of royalty. Mario put a hand on his hip. Everything looks amazing, he exclaimed. Luigi adjusted his cap. Amazing is an understatement, bro. You went above and beyond for us. The toes within earshot grinned and thanked him, bashful blushes on their faces. So adorable, he thought. Peach put a hand on her face and flicking her hand. It was only fitting. I'm willing to bet every coin I've gotten this party is the biggest one yet. The trio turned around to, to look at an unknown voice. Toad leaned on a staff, a bright smile on his little face. Peach walked to his side and patted his head. I see the defrosting chamber worked well. Why do they have a defrosting chamber? It's, it's, I, I feel like if you're having a bunch of these like power-up things that can do like a lot of different things, but you gotta have backups if something happens that's horrible. Like if someone gets burnt badly, I feel like they have to go in the, in a like a freezer for a little bit. Yeah, but who who's using these? I don't know. I don't know. Toads can use power ups. Oh, okay. I'd... Yeah. Didn't don't you ever played Super Mario Bros for the Wii? I. Uh... I'm so. <laughs> Yeah, you play as Mario, Luigi, and then there's two toes, like a yellow one and a blue one, and, you, and like, yeah, they can use power-ups. I've only played, like, maybe two, three Mario games, like, oh, actually my. played them. I'm so Like, I'm I so think it's- wait, no, hold up, okay. 
it was New Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo DS. Uh, Bowser's Inside Story. Mm-hmm. And then Mario Kart. Okay, you know what? That's based. Okay, I accept your answers. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I really thought for a second that, like, this was Toadsworth for a moment. When when they said it was a toad with a staff, I'm like, oh shit, Toadsworth popping up on this book, let's go! <laughs> Did you lose your place? I'm getting there. Okay. It's nice to see you back in action, Toad, Mario said. And you've already met my twin brother, Luigi. His brother gave him an unamused, unamused glare. The others laughed at his reddened expression. With how unbothered Toad is, it was safe to say there, were, there was resentment after free, after the freezing end. Wait. Hold up. Did, did your okay. main... No, no, no. I was confused. Hold up. Do me too. I'm always confused. Uh, it was confused. safe to say there was no resentment after free, the freezing incident. Luigi was relieved. He disliked the fact that his first time using those magnificent power-ups ended up with friend ended with friendly fire. I'm sorry, I forgot how to read. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> My bad. I just tried to impersonate you. I'm flattered, <laughs> but but one of us needs a brain cell right now and it needs to be you. <laughs> Give it back. Yeah, I, I'm trying. Take He's it. In Toadsworth and I don't know I don't know my brain. Wait, you don't know who Toadsworth is? Maybe, but uh, we we'll get to that later. Okay, okay. <laughs> Don't think too much about it, Luigi. When we were, when we were little and Peach was training, she wants to use me as a shield. <laughs> Peach put a hand on his shoulder. Okay, I think it, I think that's enough teasing for today. Let's have fun, she said. Her face beat red. Musicians on a on a small stage started playing their instruments. A small group of friends clapped and cheered, swiftly joining the other citizens in their dancing circles. Plates of food and goblets of drink were passed around without restraint. The entire kingdom frisked, relishing in the defeat of a longtime foe. The brothers took turns dancing with the mushroom princess, grinning nonstop. For the first time in a long time, they allowed themselves to relax, let their guard down. The festive mood spread like wildflower. Wildfire. The air reverberating with laughter and delight delighted cheers. A few hours into the celebration, Peach pulled them both aside and climbed one of the nearby mushrooms. Mario and Toad followed her without hesitation. Meanwhile, Luigi climbed the stem of a heavy, with heavy precaution and quivering lips. They all took a seat on the mushroom's cap, their feet dangling. Mario and Luigi sat side by side, looking at the stars. Suddenly, a bright shot into the sky exploded into a bright light show with a sonor sonorous, son sonorous bang. I can't read no more. <laughs> The people oohed and awed, mesmerized by the firework. Everything that had happened, everything that has happened, the temporary absence of power stars, the fear of war breaking out, it all melted away. Yes, the affected kingdoms needed rebuilding. But for now, the people wanted to enjoy themselves and live morale. Mario pried his eyes away from the fireworks and realized Luigi was absent. He looked around, eyes scanning for his little brother. He gently touched Peach's shoulder. And queried her about his whereabouts. Sadly, neither she nor Toad saw him leave. Mario pursed his lips, then leaping off, leaping off the elevated seating, he landed below without a hitch. Even a few nearby citizens clapped at his form. However, Mario played them no mind. He was more focused on his brother. He had noticed Luigi was more quiet than normal. On the other hand, Luigi ambulated around, analyzing the quaint village. The fireworks still resonated behind. Honestly, the only word that could describe Toad Town was cute. The layout looked chaotic on the surface level, but further examination showed the, pra the practicality behind it. The nearby mushroom forest could provide ample cover and pleasing surroundings. This kingdom could not get more fantastical than this. Luigi took a deep breath inside. He needed a moment on solid ground. He was not a fan of heights. The fireworks were amazing, but the seating? A little too much for his taste. Plus. He had so much on his mind, he was afraid he would pass out and fall. The twins were the only humans to have ever visited this room, and perhaps that fact was for the best. There was no doubt in his mind greedy people on Earth would ruin the untarnished beauty for their personal gain. 
And besides, the gap between realms was beneficial. They did fall in they did fall in the middle of an attempted invasion. Luigi shuddered, thinking about Bowser possibly trying to invade Earth. Luigi gravitated towards a nearby pond. He noticed bright red fish swimming within, peacefully drifting with the current. For fish, they sure looked expressive. A few of them looked at Luigi with curiosity. Others looked sleepy. One even looked at him suspiciously and approached before its eyes wet in a realization and moved along. Luigi quirked an eyebrow. Did they confuse me for someone? He thought, adjusting his cap. He watched as marine life treaded through the crystal surface. Footsteps behind him alerted him. Luigi looked over his shoulder and chuckled at the sight of his brother, Mario, walked up to him and with a with a hand on his chest. He sighed in relief before he sat next to his brother. What's up, bro? Hi. Mario playfully bumped his shoulder. You okay? You disappeared on us, he asked. Mario rubbed his neck. I mean, Luigi rubbed his neck. <laughs> he was like, God damn it, how dare. <laughs> I can't believe you mixed up the brothers. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm sorry. I don't know. I, 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 never mind. <laughs> don't, don't beat me, Phoenix. <laughs> That's it. I'm coming to your ass and beating you up. <laughs> no! <laughs> this is like a new footage, like, caught in between here. I'd be, like, popping into your room and just... <laughs> Like, like beating the absolute hell out of me. It's like a bomb goes off. It's the, it's the Minecraft damage noise. <laughs> it's like, oof, oof. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi rubbed his neck sheepishly. Oh, I'm sorry. I just need to get down from up there. Oh, I'm so sorry, Weech. I didn't even stop to think about your fear of heights. Apologize, Mario. Luigi raised his hands. It, it's okay, Mario. I got it. I got it in control for a little bit, but I got a little dizzy. The Mar, the brothers. <laughs> Fuck! I was gonna say the Mario brothers. <laughs> God damn the Mario brothers <laughs> in the <laughs> game. <laughs> ah, I was doing so good. Hold on. Let me take a sip of water. Very <laughs> like. Peaches, 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 peaches. Thank you for that intermission. Mm -hmm. The brother sat peacefully near the pond, having a silent conversation of short sorts. They both knew. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I keep laughing. What? They both no. laughing? I have no idea. No, I was good, but I just suddenly had the earth. <laughs> terrible. They both knew it did not need to be said. Neither of them truly wanted to leave. There was so much out there that I had yet to see, but it felt wrong staying. They had responsibilities back at home, a community to care for, not to mention dozens of friends and family members who would surely miss them. It would feel neglectful to leave their lives behind to pursue adventures. It was a tough pill to swallow, but one they had to take. Mario, Luigi! The green plumber snorted and woke up with a start. He punched his chest, trying to clear his throat. The startled twins blubbered and arose from their slumber. They had both fallen asleep on one of the tall mushrooms. The morning sun blinded them from above. Instead of being welcomed with joy, they were met with screams. Toadette fearfully stood before them, shaking from head to tail. Mario roughly grabbed Luigi's arm. Fratello, we gotta get up, he shouted. Luigi coughed. What the hell's going on? I don't know, Toadette, what's wrong? The female toad hugged herself. Her Majesty, there was a strange rumble early at dawn. Toad and Princess Peach were rushed... Toad and Princess Peach rushed into the forest. A quick scan of town showed the gravity of the, of the situation. Fungal citizens ran in circles, flailing their arms and screaming. Some hid underneath carts, shops, hugging each other as they trembled in fear. A few buildings showed signs of damage as cracks spread across the wall. With not a second to waste, the brothers turned to Toadette. Mario kneeled down to her level. Did you see the direction they headed in? He asked. East. They headed east. Mario's bright, Mario's bright blue eyes widened. He rushed in the mentioned direction, almost leaving Luigi in the dust. As they ran down the streets, residents pointed and shouted directions, ushering them on the right path. In a matter of seconds, Mario and Luigi began to be surrounded by dense foliage and fungi. Luigi leaped over a fallen log. Is this normal? He asked. Mario slid down a hill. Absolutely not. 
Please tell me the Godzilla did not break out already. already. This is even worse. We're moving away from the castle, Mario said. Luigi gulped and pressed his mouth into a thin line. Their lungs felt tight. Their muscles shouted in protest. However, the Super Brothers persisted. While Luigi was mostly trying to keep up with his brother, he seemed to know exactly who, where he was going. It was certainly challenging. He had not had this much physical activity since high school ten days. The two gritted their teeth and pushed through their discomfort until they stumbled upon a clearing. Princess Peach was on her knees, holding a piece of stone. Toad leaned on his staff, hand covering his gaping mouth. Mario rushed to his side and put a hand on her, on her shoulder. Peach, are you okay? Peach gave him a blank stare. Mario. The warp pipe. The red hero looked up and gasped. The once mighty warp pipe that protruded from the side of the mountain was nothing but crumpled with stone and dust. Mouth hanging open, Mario approached the rubble fearfully and touched a chunk of debris before retracting his hand back. On the other hand, Luigi was confused. The rubble looked like nothing more than rocks. He did not real realize the severity of the situation. Luigi slowly approached them. What happened here? He asked. Mario turned to him. Luigi, this is the warp pipe I fell through. It was going to be our way home. What? His voice cracked, words sounding more like a whimper. Without warning, his legs gave out. Mario yelped and got him, gently easing him onto, easing him onto the ground, easing him onto the ground with him. The brothers exchanged a look, eyes glistening. They clutched each other's arms, emotions cra crashing down on them. They're not going home. Never. Their home, the bustling streets of Brooklyn, will never experience their presence again. All their acquired friends, their clients, and distant family relatives will not know what happened to them. They have been cast adrift, lost Yo, in the world, just like the chapter name. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is a tense moment. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers just realize they're never going back home. They're yeah. they're afraid for getting what their their parents oh look God, like. And I'm like, oh, it's the title. Anyway, continue. <laughs> well, give me a minute, I gotta laugh. <laughs> That's like when someone mentions the word One Piece, not even oh in context God. of the anime. They're just like, hey, like, hey, I got oh, yeah. One Piece a slice of a uh, pie left if you want, and I'm like, ooh, the one piece. The shush. Okay. Princess Peach and Toad rushed to the lamenting brothers. However, words of solace would never suffice. Even the onlooker hidden in dense vegetation felt sorrow for them. Ebony, beady eyes stared through tears. Couldn't they use the pipe that was at Bowser's place? Uh, they could, but it's still probably guarded by all those dry bones and stuff. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh well. <laughs> you're stuck. That sucks. <laughs> that, yeah, that sucks for you, dog. <laughs> Couldn't be me. <laughs> you know, I'm really enjoying this. Thanks for picking out this book that we read literally the last episode. Thank you. I yeah. mean, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> thank, yeah, you thank me for you picking out a book. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm very excited to read this again if it ever lands on it. But... Oh, it will. It'll like, find a you way. Like, you gotta, like, manifest it. You're, like, you're like I praying. I, I pray every <laughs> night that I'll yeah. land on Your dear God, please let us read more about Luigi for Wattpad, and then God gets a request, and he's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I didn't realize until, like, until we hit maybe, like, halfway through my turn, I had, like, <laughs> chapter and a half more. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, these things are long, dog. We might, we might in the future, like, um, for each chapter, we can split them in half so one person reads the beginning and the other person kind of reads the end of it. Make it kind of easier for us to read. Gotcha. Yeah, that I might do be... like the whole chapters, though. Yeah. Honestly, th these are beautifully written. I highly mm -hmm. recommend this book to anyone who's a fan of the Mario franchise, aka Baluigi. Uh, during your reading, I was like, we should add Mr. L. <laughs> I mean, There's probably a book out there, I will research it. 
Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. But uh, now it is uh, it is time for us to spin the wheel. Are you excited? I, I guess. Well. <laughs> well. I asked you if you were excited. I can't tell. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't. It cut out. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I'm like, wow, she's so excited. Yeah. She's dead silent right now. I'm, yeah, I had to mute myself so I could just scream in excitement. <laughs> Here's the beautiful wheel. All right, you ready? Are you hoping that it's Shank Sex Reader? Or, uh, the Law? Or different? <laughs> I'm very excited and I'm very scared. Yeah, me too. All right. As always. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! <laughs> oh! This is your thing, dog! Okay. We were my thing. I don't know. I haven't even made it to it. meeting either of these characters. Yeah, you're I have like sent you anyway, never mind. You're like, who are these people? I don't know, I don't know. Law? Yeah, kid? law who's that? <laughs> like, why are they a kid who practices law? Yeah. I don't know who's Meanwhile, you're Tumblr. <laughs> shh, shh, we don't talk about my Tumblr. <laughs> Uh, join us next time when we read the kids' <laughs> log. Dude, I'm excited, man. You got me into this ship. It's your fault. Uh, good. You know what? Yeah. yeah. I own it. Yeah. 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 I'm making you suffer. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Well, th thanks for joining me, man. This was absolutely a blast. Oh, it's always. It's, it is. It's always a blast. I do enjoy these. Yeah, guys, make sure make sure to check out the book down below in the description. It helps the authors out. Also, there's a form in the description as well. If you have a book that you that you want me and Jolene to read, or some other collab person to read, and make us suffer through, put that shit down below. We'll love to read it. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, my name is Phoenix. That was Jolene, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. bye.